Do not try any of this at home. Wear what you call professionals. Shadow rest. Greetings, I am Tyrant. Now, before we start the video, there's something that we would like to discuss with you guys that's kind of important, and that is ad revenue. Lately on Shadowversity, ad revenue hasn't been the best. So we would love if you guys are able to support us on Patreon, Utreon, or Subscribestar, one to five dollars. If you're able to help support Shadowversity even a little bit, it goes a long way in helping us make this type of content for you guys, because we love making it and we hope you guys enjoy it. There's also the Shadow of the Conqueror graphic novel campaign on Kickstarter, we're doing a second round if you missed out on the first. You can head over there and grab one of them. Now, uh, let's get back to the video. We hope you enjoy. Why, Tyrant? You want so much. Oh, because oh, you used it all. That's why. Yeah, I was uh, fixing up Boromir and Shad actually gave us a bit of a mandate. Oh. To test duct tape. Now, I love duct tape. I'm a craftsman. I'm a maker -er, and I use duct tape for everything. But can we use it for armor? Reinforcement? We could test it, like, on some things to see if it works out, like, like raw high, like obviously you've duct taped Boromir with a helmet and a chin strap and a He-Man vest. Yes, I have. So I think this calls for a bit of, uh, I wouldn't call it functional fandom for this one, because I don't know if there's really any fandom. No, for it. well, I mean, so much as there's fandom for anything, but not really. Like there's a lot of memes, you know, maybe one or two. Yeah, and I wouldn't call this one medieval myth busting either, because it's not really medieval. You know what we can call it? What can we call this one? Meme busting. Because there meme is, busting. it is like a full meme. Duct tape fixes everything, so. It does fix everything. We can see if it fixes, like, I personally wouldn't necessarily trust it to fix a sword. Well, it turns your sword into a stick, and yeah. sticks are good. Sticks are good. Sticks are good. All right. Let's do a cut test. Just because I want to prove to you how good it is. On this much, so you're just going to chop that, basically. I will use this big thick boy on that big thick boy. Let's give that a shot. Duct tape was invented in the 1940s to help seal waterproof ammunition during World War II. And because of its versatility, duct tape has been used to repair things like shoes, cars, and even a fender on the Apollo 17's rover. But how effective is it in a medieval application? Tyrant the Native decided to break their testing into three phases. Phase one, testing duct tape's ability to repair by trying to fix a broken weapon. Phase two, testing duct tape's durability, can it be used as makeshift armor? And phase three, testing duct tape as reinforcement, are there any plausible benefits on placing duct tape on a simple shield or steel armor? To make the testing more controlled, they are also limited to using only two rolls of duct tape per item. So let's see how this goes and we'll dive right into it. Okay, so here is our duct tape. Let's, uh, let's put it on like a normal cutting test, but I think I'm gonna come straight down on it because I wanna hit it right I, in the middle. I see a problem already. What? Like it's not gonna sit there. That's, that's a misfire from one of our cuts previously. It's not, well, it's not straight. Nathan's cut, but uh, that's all right. We can just use duct tape. We have duct tape. We'll just duct oh, tape it to it. We have duct tape. We have plenty of it. That's the whole point. I feel like that really didn't do too much. Oh! It didn't even make it all the way through. No. We made it about halfway but to about there. But that's still not too bad. Plus it's easily repairable. And it was kind of like a real world test. Like this gave a bit of bounce back. So it's yeah. like a real armored person. We are going to test duct tape. We're gonna test the, the heck out of duct tape. All right. I wanna go back to the studio and brainstorm ideas on how we can really put this to the test. Yeah, all right, all right. But I think I think we definitely need to scale up in what we're hitting yeah. and scale up with weapons. Yeah. I, reckon, I reckon we can do this, okay. So Nate, we've got our duct tape here. Uh, we we are bit. ready to put it to the test. Have you got any ideas what we should be testing? Oh wait, what is even the myth? The me it's a meme, right? It's a meme, so we're meme busting. We're, meme not, we're not myth busting this time, we're, we're meme busting. But the, the myth, I suppose, in forms of a meme, mm. is duct tape fixes everything. We've got to be careful with this. If we just take, let's say, a shield, right? Mm -hmm. If we take a shield and we just wrap it with 600 layers of duct tape, uh, you it's know. It's going to be tougher than the original shield. It's going to be tougher than the original shield. A bullet even wouldn't get through. That just becomes ridiculous. Well, though. yeah, it's 600 layers. Exactly. I think the best way to test it is we'll use maybe one or two rolls per item that we're testing. That makes sense. Because makes sense. most people would have one or two rolls on them. Well, I mean, let's let's talk shield. So let's let's go through a few different things that we can actually test. So ideally, I'd want to do three. If we start with Boromir, soft and squishy, yep. uh, then we move on to something a little bit harder, like a shield. shield. Uh, I do think that we should, before we even start those, we should start with something more like a weapon. Like, there was a video that uh, we did was cutting the, uh, the tip of a spear. 
see if you could cut it off with a sword. That's a good point because if, like, we start, we'll wrap a spear in some duct tape and just see if it does a little bit extra armor. Because there is the myth, and it's a secondary myth, but there is a myth that this would make good armor. And it doesn't matter if we don't even cut all the way through because no. we can use duct tape to repair it and, and then try the and use the, the spear itself. Yeah, and and like I know how to how to attach a spearhead properly and and historically accurate, but can we just do it with duct tape if it yeah. breaks and does okay. it still work as a spear? So that's one testing. That's mm. the small one. Then we'll work up to our Boromir yep. test, uh, then the shield test, and then yep. for the end, I've got something special. Really? I'll show you a bit later, but I've got something very special for the, the finale, the grand finale. In terms of weapons that we'll use, mm. uh, I want to be very, very diverse in what we're choosing. Yep. I want to have swords, mm -hmm. axes, mm -hmm. war hammers, mm -hmm. uh, and some bows. And a spear. So, yes, it is a Bector Corbin, but it has so many different functions. We can test a lot of things with this. So, that means we'll have a whole slew of weapons to test for, for each phase. Okay, as long as it sticks around the whole theme of like crash test, I mean, because I like that black and yellow. I'll give thing. you a hint. It fits in with the theme of armor, steel armor, with the like duct tape that. coating. Of I like that. Let's quickly get started. I think we have to start wrapping things though. Yeah. So the first test, we've got the spear, uh, and we've already put some duct tape on this. And this is where I'm going to be chopping. You're mm -hmm. going to be holding it out, and we'll see if I can. I'm not going to try. I mean, if the entire thing uh, slices in half, then bonus. But I don't really see that that's happening. That's not going to happen. Um, and just for safety, I've got a chain glove because even even on a missed shot, I mean, sure, padding and steel is always better, but the slicing action is what we're faced about. So for safety, my hand's going to be back a bit, and we've got a chain glove. But, um, Once we do the cut, we're going to be attaching this more firmly with duct tape if yep. this comes off, and then we'll try and fix up any of the damage with some more duct exactly. tape. Exactly. And we'll see how it goes in slow mo yep. because at the moment, this isn't actually attached properly. This is just chocked on with a bit of weight. Um, so it may actually come off, and we may have to use duct tape anyway. We'll see. All right. All right. So let's, let's, uh, let's, let's start now. All right. Did you want to count us down, Nate? You know what? I like that idea. So uh, three, two, one. Three, two, one. That's not bad. That's not bad. Uh, we can just take that off, I think. I mean, is the duct oh, tape? that's the duct tape. That's the duct tape holding well, that on. Well, How about we leave that We like leave that? that on and we will duct tape that back together. Sounds good. So the duct tape is theoretically going to be testing against a nice clean cut as well as a tear and a rip because that's not going to go back together properly. Yeah, and you can see how much we used here. We use that's more, that's like three, four millimeters yeah, thick. Yeah, you can, you can see that's a lot of duct tape. That's a yeah. lot of duct tape. We'll move on to the next phase where we put this together with duct tape and then we test it. But we'll test it on the next phase of testing? That on Boromir, Let's on his armor. It. Let's test it on Boromir yeah. and we'll see. I want to do the heating this time. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. So, we are here ready to test. We've got Boromir here, you've got the MacGyver spear. Uh, in terms of testing him, we are not going to be hitting him on the head. This is just for looks No, up here. and he's got his little chin strappy. So yeah. He's a nice little chin strap. This oh. is fully reinforced here. Yep. As well as that, that left pauldron. We've yeah. reinforced, this part is just for looks, but we have reinforced that top there. So, similar to when we got a close up on the spear, it's pretty thick. May not look it like this, but there's a good amount of duct tape there. Uh, so, in terms of weapons, we've got the spear. I've got this one. We won't. We won't. We don't have to use the other sword. We don't have to use all no, the swords. No, we don't need to use two swords yeah. to test swords. Uh, I've also got uh, an arrow. We'll fire an arrow. That sounds uh, good. And you had something else you wanted to test? I do. So I've got a Bector Corbin, so we can test both the war spike and the hammer. Right. We don't really know what the hammer's going to do, but if it loosens it off, we'll see. Yeah. Um, as well as an axe, because axe. So I think we should. We'll start with the spear. Yeah, we do need to start with the spear. So we're going to um, take a good look at this through this angle to see some nice flexing because I'm not sure how well that's going to hold. I think it'll still be deadly though. Oh, it'll still be deadly. But let's start with this and then move on to the uh, fully functional weapons. All right. Countdown to the test of Boromir. Three, two, one. That was definitely deadly. Let's be clear was. about that. That was. That was about two inches. So, Maybe more, nearly three. So something that I noticed as I was sort of lining up the shot is when it was actually straight, it did pull down a bit. So I like to spin to try to keep a nice accurate 
accurate spear, but I was re-judging where that was going and I missed my first shot completely. Right. In terms of the armor, I mean, that penetrated, whoa. Yeah, that, that went deep. That Very went pretty deep. deep. Yeah. So, but on the plus side, like it looks easy to repair. It does look easy to repair. Now, I had a, I had a sneaking suspicion that in terms of direct thrust shots, duct tape isn't going to work. No. Right? But slashing shots, it might. It might. But just to be really uh, scientific. So we test everything. I'm going to fire an arrow right here. Let's see if uh, Tyrant here with a perfectly straight arrow can get it in their first go. Arrow, nine meters. Nate, count us down. Three, two, one. Like that's not center, but that's still, oh, it's not even theoretically that deep. And this is where it's most reinforced. It is in this area. This, this area here, from here to here, is the most reinforced okay. across well, the side. It's not quite where his heart would be, and that is to there. So that's not quite enough penetration, maybe just enough penetration to hit vital organs. But you, if that nicked an artery, that's, that's bad. That's yeah. very bad. I think we'll test uh, the small arrow, the more modern arrow. Sounds just, good. The just armor for, piercing. Just for completion. Okay, let's give that a shot. Now we're going to test the Bodkin armor piercing arrow. Same range, same poundage. Three, two, one. That's not too bad. Actually, you know what? Forget me think... saying that's not too bad. That's good. Yeah. That's I... just good. Survivable. That is, yes. Survivable. Yes, that's actually survivable. That's surprising is what that is. Uh, I think it's time we move on to, oh, I think we'll do a sword first and then you can jump on the axe. Oh. Okay, you want to do some uh, yes. cutting? Uh, yeah, I think we shall start with a uh, downward strike yep. and then a thrust. Yep, and like we were saying earlier, this is, it's just for looks, with these little chinny chin straps, so yeah. there's nothing here. But yeah, we did reinforce the shoulder, we reinforced the chest, so I'll leave you to it. Striking in three, two, one. Uh, well, to the, to the armor's credit, the armor did what it was supposed to do. It did. Now, disregard this. This is actually from a prior damage. That's... I don't see a cut of the flesh. I see a little nick here. Yeah. Now, don't get me wrong. This would have broken your shoulder. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, you, your collarbone would be, would be cracked at yeah. least from that. But the armor did what it was supposed to do and, and absorbed the shot. All right, I think we should test the thrust now right yeah. through here. All right. That actually worked a lot better than I was. I, I did not expect a cut. Like there was a little bit of slash motion in it. We'll yeah. check the slow-mo for that. Yeah, we're going to have to check the yeah, slow-mo for this one. Yeah, but the duct tape wasn't effective as what I thought it would be. It still did its job. It did. But the katana definitely won out on that. Yeah, I, right. I really am curious to check the slow-mo on this so because I, I want to see how much we actually got into the flesh. Because yeah. the, the duct tape has been split. It's been split. It's been, it's, it's split, split. Yeah. Let's test the stab. Katana thrust versus Boromir. Test two in three, two. One. Let's go back, let's go back, let's go back. <laughs> That's not too bad. I think it's your turn this time. Oh, uh, I you axe. want to grab the axe? Oh, yes, I do. Sorry, Boromir. Sorry. This is Axe versus Boromir. Test one hack. Nate, are you ready? Let's go. Ready. Three, two, one. Axe versus Boromir, test two. Nate, you ready? Sure. Three, two, one. Okay, so uh, Axe has destroyed it. Yeah. Sword's destroyed it. Yeah. I mean, this next uh, beautiful weapon is gonna absolutely demolish Ooh, it, but- Can you hold this? Uh, okay. I guess you're gonna go get it. There can be only one weapon we are talking about. <laughs> Vector Corbin versus Boromir, test three and three, two, one. Whew. The results have been as expected. Yeah, and I mean, look at that tiny little mark there. It's not really much, but it shows it wanted to keep going. It yeah. rolled into it. Did you want to pull it out? <laughs> I did, okay, that's really hard to get that tactile feel across camera, but to feel that go out of a... Well, we can get a nice close up of how thick it is here. I don't think we have to say this, but just to be uh, perfectly clear, you'd be dead. Oh, 
I mean, you might be able to survive, you know. Medieval doctors were really good with leeches and Witch doctors stuff. or medieval doctors? Witch doctors? Witch doctors. Wh which, which doctors? Witch doctor. Oh, okay. No, yeah, you'd be dead. All right, so I want to use this again, but I don't know, I feel like things have to break. They like, do. I really want to break stuff with they this. Do. Maybe we can use that. Yes, we can give him more protection. Testing. There is one really, really important question I've got for you. What's How your... exactly do we attach a shield to Boromir? Duct tape. Oh, duct tape. Let's get some more. Okay. We've already tested the spear. We have. We've tested Boromir. We have. Now we've got our shield. Now this is, we put quite a few layers on this front and back. Uh, the reason why we did front and back is because, first off, the penetration but then the exit wound as well. Yes, so you want to see the exit wound. And as well, it was also easy just to wrap the thing as we were going, no, but, no, no, but. It was specifically because we were, we were professionals but, testing something. Historically, and even for modern interpretations like reenactment groups, we usually put layers on front and back for the sturdy, sturdiness. Sturdy, what's a word I'm looking for here? Security, sturdiness of the shield. So we're, we've done it fairly accurately. Let's see how well this holds up versus, what are we going to hit it with, everything? I think we will, We'll do the katana again. Okay. We'll do the axe. Yep. And then to really just... Yeah, I know where you're going with this. To drive home the point. But I think what we'll do is I will come down again for a slash yep. across here. See if I can make it all the way down and actually penetrate flesh. That's right. You should also do a stab. I don't think I'll do a stab. No? Because I think we'll use the axe for that one. All right. Well, with the axe, I actually want to be cleaving at it in a similar yeah. way as last time. How about what we do is when we get to the Bechtecor Ben, we use that as the puncture test because the Bechtecor Ben has like a that. few different ways that we can hit and we haven't done a puncture test yet. So we'll try that. Okay. So we're testing Katana versus shield. <sighs> nice big hack across the top. Tyrant, you good? I'm good. All right. Swinging in three, two, one. It's not bad. It, it held. Yeah, but it stopped it from splintering. We saw something very similar on the flex seal where it stopped it from splintering and beginning worse and cracking. It does. Like you, I heard it thwock. That's, well, that's holding up better. I mean, we're yet to see how it stands versus the axe. some good hits, yeah. not just the ax, but let's go to the ax next. Yeah. Leviathan ax test against Boromir. Uh, test one, three, two, one. That would send a shockwave up your arm, but everything held. <laughs> so I think, as weird as this sounds to say, we actually had to crack the wood a little bit to get that through. Right. Because when the wood is stiff, that reverb, that bounce is being held really tightly in place yeah. by the binding of the, of the um, tape. I think I want to go. You always want to go. Yeah, just with the axe. That, that, is, that is a flesh wound. We end with a bang for this one. I think so. I'm going to go get the, uh, the good one. All right, you can have this back. Uh, that was fun. Yes. That was very fun. My, I, I, will, I will give it to Tyrant. Like, he's got a bit of strength on him. I didn't knock this down as much. I think you knocked it down every swing. Yeah. Uh, I, I just wanted to test the, the hammer, basically. Because the hammer, if I was able to fully cave this in, which of course I'm going to be able to. Oh. Like, yeah, this is in the shape of the little square. That is, that's indeed in the shape of a square. If we cut this, we're going to see a uh, splinter along the... Back to core bands are a little dangerous. they got spikes everywhere. <laughs> right, okay. Uh, but I think that's enough for this shield. I wanted to go over some of the test results very, very quickly. Yeah. Very briefly. Surprising compared to what I was initially thinking. Yeah. So first off, we had the spear. Yes. And it was still deadly. Yeah. It held up better than I thought. I mean, I thought it was going to be a flail. I thought it was just going to be a floppy yeah. spear end on the end of a stick. Like, but it held up okay. It, it, it's better than nothing. As you said, it's still deadly. It's, it's still a deadly weapon. Yeah. The shield, though, I'm very surprised at that. I honestly thought it was going to fall apart and just be like paper mache underneath yeah. the tape. But it, it actually held up really well. It I'm held up really, really well. It held up better than Flex Seal, which surprised Surprisingly, me. yeah. Yeah, so, you know, it... And that's the thing. It wasn't necessarily fixing it with, with duct tape. It was kind of just the duct tape being there yeah, and, and, and helping to... Yeah, it together. Uh, to... Boromir was dead. <laughs> Every single test, he was dead. It, it just is. It's as simple as that. He yeah. was dead. But 
Now we move on to the final. Yeah, I want to wanna see what this is. I want well, to see what this is. I'm going to go and get the surprise. Why don't you go out to uh, the castle and I'll bring it out. I'm going to check on Boromir. I'm sure, I'm sure he'll be, I'm sure he'll be okay. Let's go. Ooh, we are turning you into like nightmare fuel, Boromir. We need to give you like plate armor or something. Where's Tyrant? Oh. It's got to be around here somewhere. <laughs> I have got our final test ready. You got a car door? Yeah, I do. I got a car door. <laughs> you got a car door? <laughs> now, I know, I know you're gonna say that, uh, you know, it's not strictly accurate, it's not this or that. But... Okay, so normally I would be saying it's not historically accurate to have a car door, the type of metal is inaccurate, the shape, the structure, I don't care. It's a car door. It's a car it's door. It's a car door. So, uh, Woo! this, this is our finale. This yeah. is what we're going to be testing. And I see what you've done. You, yeah. you have taped an area here for us to test. So we can test a few things in regards of can it get through? Will it bend? Big open of the flat. Oh, there's dust that's going to fly off it too. This is going to be great. Now, we're not going to be testing uh, swords with this. No. Well, not, not in this video. No. <laughs> we're going to we're wait. Gonna... There's going to be more videos. Ooh, we have to wait and see. Uh, we are just going to be testing the really heavy duty stuff That's uh, fair. on this finale. But what do you think? Let's get into I it. Wanna, I want to, I want to. So, yes, but before we do, if we're not going to be doing swords, I want to have a quick talk about swords. Now, we armored him up here on the chest and here on the shoulder, as we said, for a lot of these chops. What we didn't do is we didn't armor his head. We just kind of gave him a couple of layers. But look at what Tyrant did with the katana. That is, like, you can't see it from the camera angle, but that is back to here and to here on a cut through and he is missing an ear an ear yeah oh tsh. and uh, oh, i think hello <laughs> oh at that's this, at this point his whole head is yeah about to come off. so that's that's the jugular shot that i did with the axe but i was more meaning this like no armor compared to armor if we can count it that like what do you guys think should we is it time for a new boromir leave it in the comments below. yeah yeah uh, i genuinely think we might be at that at that point we'll, we'll get we'll take the tape off and we'll see how nightmare fuel he looks later but right now i want to hit that all right let's uh let's take this down and start testing yeah okay so we have got the door here ready i'm just going to do a uh you know a downwards chop yep this is Le car door versus leviathan axe test one striking in three Two, one. Oh, that's buckled yeah, in. Yeah, it's completely buckled in. But I feel like the duct tape's kind of holding it together somewhat. It is. it is. I don't even know if it cut through. I just think it might have buckled it. Might have buckled. I don't feel anything sharp. Well, you know what that means. We've got to do it again. I've got to do it again. Got to do it again. Three, two, one. I'm not feeling anything sharp underneath. I'm quite impressed by the axe. No rolling. No That's rolling. no rolling. No rolling. What? That's good axe. All right, Tyrant, swing it again in three, two, one. All right, so we should really then move on to this. Give it a proper test yeah. with the Bechtel Corbin. Uh, I think start with the hammer though. Start with the hammer before we try and puncture it. Really? Yeah. Okay. Just I want to see. Well, you know what? You know what? It's a little underwhelming. So I think you should start with the hammer and then I'll go for the puncture tests All so okay. that you can actually get some good tests on this thing and we can get some good, All right. good damage. Back to Corbin versus car door with Tyranth using the war hammer end. Uh, you ready? I'm ready. All righty. Striking in three, two, one. Now that's a sharp piece of metal under there. Back to Corbin, Warhammer end versus car door, part two. Three, two, one. <laughs> that hurt my ears. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, now here's, the buckle is here. He hit here. Now, it's important for people who don't understand car doors not just car doors pretty much everything that needs to be to have strength yep. has specific geometric shapes in them we usually use triangles for these sorts of things so when you see something like this the force buckle, you can you can now visually see that the force has transferred through yeah to that zone it's just popped that out so the kinetic energy oh. of that i would not want to take in the chest no no 
because that that cut chests are not designed like like car doors all right so you want to test this i do but i swing right-handed so we're going to need to move this a little bit okay. where am i aiming yeah. whether i hit it or not different story but i think I'm we can just go there. straight in all right i'm you a, need I'm, to back off. i am getting right you need to back one. away safety first all right counting down in three two one So I went through, but it bounced after the penetration, which is really, really interesting. Three, two, one. This you've got to look at. I went through to the other side. Yep. It gave, uh, so can we fix this? We can, but it will never be as good as what it was. Blue tack, duct tape, uh, chewing gum, duct tape. I'm gonna go put this in the car. Duct off. tape will Give work. me a second. So we've concluded all of our testing and the results have pretty much been what we expected right from the start, but there were a few curveballs in there. We started off with the spear and we were able to cut it in half. Yeah, uh, it was as expected, but once we put the duct tape back on, it wasn't fixed in so much as that it was exactly the same as before we hit it, but it definitely was lethal still, and I consider that a win, at the very least. Then we moved on to the Boromir testing. Now the truth is, Boromir was gonna be dead. From that point on, using the axes, all the other weapons, he's dead, that's it. Then we moved on to the shield. Now the shield was a little bit different because it held up a lot more than I originally thought it would. First off, the parts weren't splintering and we were only able to make it through the entire shield uh, right at the end with things like the Warhammer and the axe. And they weren't even killing blows. Then we moved on to the car door and the oh. car door, it held up a lot more than I thought it would. It even broke one of our weapons, which we are definitely gonna to have to talk to Shad about. Yeah. Uh, but I think that concludes all the testing. I think we need to head back over to the set and talk about it in depth. There were some results I wasn't expecting. No, and uh, you can help me get the rest of the stuff. So, come on. Um. So I think we've concluded our testing of duct tape. Man, I, I'm gonna be honest, I really love duct tape. It's just so fun. Uh, and repairing all of these things with more duct tape, it's, uh, it really is a wonder material. Uh, so, Nate, what are your thoughts? Nate, we've got to talk about it. We're gonna talk about test results. I broke the... Yeah, I know, we'll get to that. Uh, um, we can't fix this with duct, can we? Can we fix it with duct tape? No, but, <laughs> but we can talk about the testing and the results because the, the duct tape held up surprisingly well and once we broke it, we could just use more to fix it. That's true, that's true. But I mean, we can see that there's only so much yeah. duct tape can actually do. I still hold ground that he is looking more and more like nightmare fuel. He is. He is. Uh, I, uh, we may jest, but I genuinely think we're at the point where a new Boromir might, we may need a new might be around the Boromir. corner. Yeah. But maybe, maybe leave in the comments what we should name the next one if we get another one. The shield held up really well. Pretty surprisingly well. So uh, We've got the, the, just the standard wood one. Yeah, you. so just as a standard sort of an example, the Bechter Corbin, the hammer, straight through. Obliterated it. Obliterated it. The axe, although it only looks like it chopped a little bit, you can see those hacks went through to the other side and cracked the shield. Now, this has the same sort of flex because it has been cracked. Absolutely, but if you but give that, you give that a little bit of flex and it holds. I give this a little bit of flex and it's and it doesn't. Yeah. So we can see that it does, it, it may not be as good, it may not be as good as some historical examples or some other modern, really nice, sturdy examples that we can use, but as a general, if it's what you've got on you and you need to affix a shield. I think there's two main reasons why this is holding the shield together. First off, how tight we packed the uh, actual duct tape oh, around yeah. it is holding it together in exactly. very firm. And you can see this on Boromir, like we wrapped it very yeah. tightly and this, this horrific thing that's sticking out the side of his neck is because his torso is currently compressed. Yeah. Uh, in terms of the spear, the spear was a bit of a, uh, it's still lethal. It's a mixed bag. It was. So yes, absolutely. It's still lethal. You have very much loss of point control um, when you're trying to use it, but it's a spear. You stab in the general direction and you kind of just get them. The car door was an interesting one because First off, it didn't look like there was that much damage to the tape up here when I was, I was really coming down on the ax. I have an idea. We have lots of sharp things here. 
How about we cut open the tape on the top and actually take a look at what type of damage we did? Even though we've got lots of sharp objects, you know, Katana versus car door, that's not exactly something we would want to do, is it? You went silent there for some reason. Uh, no, I, I, okay. I didn't go silent there for a reason. Oh, that's still... It's still a lot of damage. Yeah. And it did more than I was expecting it to. Especially because, first off, we spoke about this before, the geometry of something like a car door. You take thin steel uh, shapes that have sharp edges to give it more rigidity than it would if it was just a flat exactly. sheet. Exactly. And car doors, as well as the rest of the car, specifically is designed, yeah. if damage is taken in one area, it pushes it to other to mitigate it. So those bubbles that were forming when we were hitting certain areas, yeah. they make complete sense. Uh, but I still think, in a general sense, if you had armor, you could feasibly waterproof it with something like duct tape. Yeah. Because, and... let's be clear here, things rust very quickly. Like, it's something you guys don't see very often, but the maintenance of our uh, weapons is uh, a task in and of itself. Yeah. <laughs> Just keeping them all nice and uh, shiny and sharp and keeping the rust from getting onto them. Uh, it takes a lot. So, so yeah, a quick layer of, of duct tape on the top would actually help yeah. with that. So like I said before, I think we can call it. I think we can call uh, duct tape busted. It's not gonna fix everything, you know, as much as I love it and as much as I would wanna use it for every problem I could personally find, <laughs> it's not gonna fix everything. No, but, but we're in this, so we really kind of need to define it now. So if we say, can it fix everything? Mm. Busted. Busted. Can it fix most stuff for a good, it'll do solution, it's right. plausible, but the meme, duct tape fixes everything, busted. Busted. Well, th I think that's it. I think we've, that's all for today's video. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, we hope you enjoyed. We really enjoyed testing. And if you stick around to the end, you can uh, see what's coming up on Shadowversity. And we'll also have even more extra bit where we're just going to go to town on this. Let's just, come on, let's just We get to it. hit it again? Yeah, let's just destroy okay, it. Okay, let's find something that's not so precious. Of sh i got to talk to you about that. this. So officially busted, duct tape does not fix everything. Though I have to give it to it, it holds up fairly well for armor, even scoring a hit on the Bechtel Corbin. Though that could have been the car door more than anything else. Don't forget to check out our Kickstarter for the Shadow of the Conqueror graphic novel. And um, until next time, farewell. Ah. Coming soon to Shadowversity. Elden Ring is one of my, uh, it might be my favorite Dark Souls game of all time. 10 out of 10? For me, yes, it is a 10 out of 10.